What's going on, everyone? This is your favorite collector, Sweet Wells, and welcome back to another episode of Lounge Fly News. As you can see, I got the UK up here because majority of this video, I'm going to be talking about releases going on in the UK, mainly with Truffle Shuffle and Very Nico UK. So without further ado, let's get straight into These it. These releases here are going to be from Truffle Shuffle. You see on the left, we have the Aladdin Raja all over print along with the Cloud and Mickey all over print. Now, these backpacks here were released at Truffle Shuffle and they're currently out of stock so if you did miss out on these bags and you're in the uk i think it's best that you all sign up to receive emails so whenever they do come back in stock you'll be able to get them also congratulations to any collectors that was actually able to score them when they release now when it comes to the truffle shuffle the dates that i have is just the expected arrival date well you, you see up under each bag it will have notify me so you need to click on that put your email and they'll email you whenever the bags is available this bag here is actually available in the united states i think the website is la style rush but this bag here is so so pretty i love it. it's just so icy and snowy i'm really happy that my uk collectors are finally getting it now it is expected to arrive on march 4th you see we have the backpack and the wallet the prices of the of each of these items will be available on truffleshuffle.com so if you want to know you can go to that website well, please keep this date and make sure you click notify me so you can get this bag. also we have for march 10th also expected on april the second we have these two bags the first one we have tigger we did receive this i think with g treasures or blue culture tees one of those sites so the united states has received the ones that we're going to get and i was actually able to score this one so good luck to my folks out there in the uk and the next one i don't think we actually got that one here yet y'all comment down below and let me know if, if they did a re-release of the sally one in the united states but i'm not too familiar with once that. again good luck to my uk people. on march 23rd you see now we the have stitch and i know folks are tired of seeing stitch but i've i've said it before stitch sales all right so lounge fly know what they're doing when they got stitch and this one here is actually available on amazon in the united states for those of you all who are interested in it moving right along to the right you see we have the peter pan and we also have the dark vader all over print bag and yes the stitch one is all over print as well but for those pinocchio and dark vader expected to arrive on april the second Mm -hmm, that's gonna be interesting now we have some halloween stuff and i know some of you all my uk people have been waiting on some of these but items. these two are expected to arrive on april the second you see we have hocus pocus i didn't get that one i don't know why and i love hocus pocus i think me i think them not having the side pockets did it for me on this one and next to that we have the yeah, glow the dark mickey and this here was so i mean people were going crazy behind this bag this is probably the most popular bags in 2020 i kid you not people love this that. bag so i'm hoping everyone worn it gets it also expecting to arrive on april the second boy they got a whole lot of releases going on around that same time we have the sally and i know in the united states we did get that one as well and that one sold out next to that we have the all over print bell and also we have the all over print bell wow out of all of these i do like the sally one i kind of sort of did have the opportunity to get it i don't know why i didn't get sally now i'm looking at it i'm like man i probably should have got that bag even i think the company who had that bag they had some that had some defects so they even lowered the price so yeah yeah that's a nice bag now let's get on to very nico uk because yes they have a uk site and they have a united states but i'm talking about the uk let's talk about the first bag we have from evader zim the dog let me tell you something this bag i remember this bag so well and i'm gonna tell you in the united states this bag here is starting to gain some popularity it's becoming a lot of folks ios i've been seeing a lot of folks being interested in this bag but i do remember this bag it was released for san diego comic-con now when it was on launchfly.com it did sell out it sold out quickly maybe a day or two something like that maybe more than that but it did sell out and it did it was a shared exclusive with hot topic and when it went on hot topic i watched this bag like a hawk because i didn't want to pay full price for it and i wanted to wait till hot cash came around hot cash came i got the bag the bag was still online during hot cash and after hot cash but when I went to go check on it again, I did notice it was gone. But I was expecting this bag to sell out quicker than that. And some folks was watching it as well. Maybe at the time they couldn't pay for it, so they didn't get it. But some folks are actually looking for this bag. Let's right? go down below. You see we have the Princess Chibi. This is a bag that someone posted that the United States was supposed to be getting at box lunch again. 
one of my sweet willis said on the last box lunch money run she got it and someone else had got it i have yet to see this bag this bag here i want so bad like i'm really like lounge fly box lunch stop playing and put the bag in the store like i'm tired of checking online every day twice a day you know i'm showing my hand but <laughs> All I'm saying is I want that bag. And that bag is still available on verynicouk.com. Yeah, I was kind of shocked. Maybe they put some more in stock. You know, who knows? Let's go to the one in the middle. This was another con exclusive. What, what it was, SDCC? I think it was one of those con. It was a con exclusive. And this bag, I'm trying to remember. I think it was this limited edition bag. I think so. Y'all comment down below. You know, Sweet Will just be forgetting sometimes. Comment down below and let me know if this was a con release bag that was released on Loungefly website only. Yeah, I'm doing y'all thing over there. It's like all the bags we have, whether it be at Box Lunch or just prints that they are bringing back, you all are finally getting it. So I'm really happy for everyone out there because I remember it was a time where UK folks didn't get any. They had to basically buy from folks. They had to buy from collectors in the United States. Thanks to Loungefly for actually making this finally happen for you all. So I'm really we're happy. right along. We're going to go up right. And this is the Donald Duck bag. Now, I love this bag. Let me just say this. I don't have it, but I love this bag. The only thing that got me with this bag is the feet on the back. That was my only problem. If there's any kind of way I could have cut those feet off, I probably would have got this bag. This is a great looking bag. Going down to the last bag that I'm going to talk about with Very Nico is the Aiden Dumbo with the wallet. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Last box lunch money run, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that bag. I got my box lunch money and I'm ready to spend. I go into box lunch. That bag ain't nowhere to be found. This bag sold out online and I didn't see it in my store. So I was like, oh my goodness. I really had my mind set on getting this bag. I only have like one Dumbo bag and that was the one that was like one of the first ones not really the first ones but it's an older Dumbo bag that's the only one I got but I really wanted this one but you know what I missed out on it it might restock on box lunch I might catch in the store whatever but very Nico UK has it and that's all that matters now this part here is for the United States I had to add this in Pink a la mode, they have this 2021 pink con. They did a reveal yesterday or the day before that showing off the lounge fly exclusive bag that they will be releasing. And here we have it. We have the seven dwarfs and the minor lounge fly backpack. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> but there is a video that they did on YouTube. I think it's up under their name, Pink a la mode. Y'all can go ahead and check that out. But here's the reveal of the backpack. What do you all think about it? I love it okay and i know some people that didn't place the order for the ticket decided after seeing this bag yesterday to go ahead and get their tickets with the pink con ticket the great thing about this which is why a lot of people signed up because they figure if they don't get it they don't get it they may lose out on getting this backpack you get a 24 hour early access to purchase items from the con but you can only get two bags per and ticket if you look to the right on the back it has jewels on the back oh my goodness i love when they do those designs and one of the things they mentioned about this bag the front has a pocket the size they didn't mention anything about the pocket so you know i was like that was done right there and the back has the padded scraps so i don't know i'm gonna have to see some better pictures of it i hope i don't miss out on now it. this here is from g treasures they sent out an email and i get i didn't get one because i i don't think i opt to receive them which you know it's okay you know my my, my sweet willis they be taking care of things so i don't have to worry about missing out on nothing i'm telling you they be on it when i say my sweet willis be on it they be on this backpack lounge fly disney news i'm telling you G treasures sent out this saying this exclusive sleep sequence bag from g treasures what do you guys think we will not be doing pre-orders and this will be a surprise release. We are giving one sneak peek and that's it. Next time you see an actual photo of the bag will be available for sale. See below for first sneak peek. Now the word is that this here is allegedly an aerial backpack. Now, when I look at the bag, if you look at the picture that I have blown up, you see at the bottom, like on the pocket, on the side, it has like this green and then it has this yellow. I couldn't quite put Ariel with it. I don't know. But I know a lot of folks are really just out of it. They're not interested in it. And it has a lot to do with the color of the twins color being a little bit too pink. And I can understand that, you know, it's just not for some people. But folks like me, I'm very, very interested in this bag. And the front pocket, I'm hoping that it blows me away. 
The scary thing about this bag is that it's going to be a surprise release. Really. Like, don't know what day is going to happen, happen, what time is going to happen. And then the bad thing about me is I, I don't think I receive emails from G Treasure. So it's like I'm depending on other folks to get an email to tell me or somebody else to post it to tell me, which, which I might end up being too late to get. So I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Stuff like this, I can tell you what folks are doing right now. They're checking their website as much as they possibly can because they don't want to miss out on it. I'm hoping somebody can give me some sneak peek information on the release. You know, that's what I'm waiting on. Hey, wink, wink. <laughs> this is going to be quite interesting. What do you all think? Are you still interested in this bag? Whether you need to see the front pocket or not, or do you need to see the front pocket? Or are you just not even interested in it at all because you don't want to deal with the stress? Or you don't want to be disappointed with the fact that you might want the bag, but due to this sneak release stuff, you may not get it. So you just don't want to deal with it altogether. Now, this here is something I got off of my Facebook group. One of my sweet willers posted it. I believe they got it from somewhere else. But it says, to be announced, exclusive date to be announced, retailers, Bibbity. That's the Marvel and Star Wars. Now, this Marvel one, I'm thinking that it's that Captain America that the UK actually got at what, Geek Corps. I think that would be one. The Star Wars, I'm not familiar with that. And the date to be announced. The Treasures is the sequence aerial. So that's where I get the hint from, you know, that this is an aerial backpack. Come to the aerial backpack, everyone. Good luck. I know some people, they collect aerial anyway. We're Hoping going to we can get some more information. I'm hoping that maybe G Treasures, you know, wink, wink, change your mind on and give us some dates. Because if this is a hot bag and this sell out and it's a limited edition, you think folks act the fool with that cupcake, this is going to be another cupcake situation. This is actually the third bag from Cordy's Corner. It's the On Last Airbender backpack that is available for pre-order on their website. And I know you all are seeing a limited run, so let me just say this. I do. I am sorry and I do apologize for giving y'all you all the wrong information when it comes to the lady Star Wars bag and also the Avatar crossbody. I mentioned that both of these bags were a limited edition. I even went as far as saying the backpack was a limited edition of 600. That information is incorrect. When it comes to Cordy's Corner, the bags aren't limited editions at all. It's just a limited run. For example, the ladies Star Wars bag, there was a limited release on, or a limited run, which means they only made 600 of the bags. Say, for instance, this bag or any of these bags I'm showing you sells out. If they decide down the line that they want to produce more bags, they can. Once again, Sweet Wills would like to apologize for the information. I'm hoping that it doesn't affect anyone who decides to get any of the two bags that I talked about before. The Ong one, this is my first time talking about it, and I do apologize about that. Well, Sweet Wills has some amazing news. Remember last Friday when I did Lounge Fly News and I was talking about this Chippendale modern pinup exclusive bag that was sold I out? I told folks, if you're interested in this bag and you want to know if they have more to email them. Well, Friday, I talked about doing it myself, but I never did. So Melissa on Facebook actually messaged me telling me about the situation of someone that actually emailed them, them and they sent her an uh, email to pay to get one of the bags. So at that point, I stopped what I was doing. I emailed Modern Pinup. They told me, hey, we'll just put you on a wait list. Yesterday at like 7.30 or 7.40 Central Standard Time PM, I got a I got an email from them saying, hey, we have a bag of bells. I told them yes so fast. They sent me the invoice. I paid for that joker with the quickness. So I'm really, really excited. Plus another sweet willer, she was on the wait list. I think she was on the wait list Saturday. I think I got on there Friday. She got on there Saturday. She received the email from them to buy the bag. It's really, well. really happy. I'm not too sure if they're out of bags right now or if they still have a wait list going on. But if you're interested in this bag, I would suggest emailing them just to see what they say. They can only say, say yes, yes, no, or we're going to put you on the wait list and we'll just have to see. Just wanted to let everyone know and I'm really happy. Can't wait to get it and I'm going to do a review on this particular bag. Yes, ma'am. And yes, sir. I forgot to mention, all of the bags that I showed you all from Very Necro are actually available to purchase right now on their UK site. So you can go over there and check it out if you're interested in it. Also, they do have a lot of other lounge flights. And they have a Very Nico exclusive stitch bag if you're interested. I'm just saying, if you're interested, check it out. All right, everyone. So that'll do it for my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like always, if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Also, when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click on all so you can be notified whenever I drop a video or a community post. And until next time, everyone, take care.